gente está aqui na beira rio de Daytona, na área do centro histórico. Nós vamos para a nossa segunda atração do dia aqui, que é a Angel and Phelps. Que é a fábrica de chocolate que oferece tours gratuitas 10 da manhã, 11 da manhã, meio dia, 1 hora. É. A gente faz a tour, compra um chocolatezinho e daí nós vamos dar uma volta aqui mostrar o centro histórico. Here, it's called a tempo machine. 
And our oven back there is where we make our bacon. We oh, have chocolate covered bacon. A man came in about five years ago. He asked us to make chocolate covered bacon. We did. They took to a food fair, handed out samples within one year. We sold one ton. Oh, one wow. ton. We sold about a ton and a half a year. Ooh, we also have a big old popcorn machine upstairs. We make popcorn, bring it down, they'll melt caramel in the copper pots, mix it all up, pour it out, and then we'll put some chocolate on that. Oh, yeah. When they make the pita brittle like they do in Mackinac Island, they'll cook it up in the copper pot, pour directly onto the marble top table. The marble top table will cool it down, they can yeah. stretch it. Once it gets nice and hard, they go ahead and break it up. And and we have dog biscuits. We dip with white chocolate. White dog chocolate food. will not hurt your animal because there's no cocoa in it. Mm. And then we have Twinkies. We have Rice mm -hmm. Krispie Treats. We put chocolate on everything. Pretty much. <laughs> and if y'all stay in here, the chocolate's going to come down and cover y'all. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> come just open your mouth and chop it. So, be a little messy drying at home that time. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, you can see the guys. So you don't see a lot of big old machinery because most of the, everything we do is do, done by hand. And so those guys are our machinery, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so they're doing all the work here, which I think is neat too. And the boss comes in all the time, so there's nice quality control and stuff like that too. And being a little gourmet shop, we make our candy and our fudge and stuff as we need it. So. You know your candy and stuff is going to be fresh mm -hmm. because when we make it as we need it. On the table over there, they have some of the, it's what you would call like a heat bar. They've got some toffee there, oh, okay. and they're going to be putting some chocolate on that and putting some nuts on top. So it's sort of like a heat bar. So, but this is where everything gets made. And what happens when you work in a candy factory and you make a mistake? Eat it. That's right, we eat our stuff. <laughs> and I give you our big secret of making dark chocolate. And how we make dark chocolate? We turn off the lights. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> but like I said, this is our first little window here. But you know what? It's a little kitchen, but all that chocolate out there was made in this little kitchen, which I think this says a lot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of chocolate out there. It's amazing. There's a lot of chocolate out there. <laughs> So this is how your cocoa beans grow. Your cocoa beans grow in these pods. If you notice that they grow towards the bottom of the tree. When they get ripe, they open up. There's three parts. You have your seed, they grind up in the cocoa powder. You have a nib that they melt for chocolate before. You have a pulp. Pulp is what they make cocoa butter out. Now, they tell me it takes almost 700 of these little pods to make one pound of chocolate because look how pretty you are. 700. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. Hi. Hi. So this is your cocoa seeds right here. That's what comes out of here. Your trees will go around the equator where it's nice and warm. They go around West Africa, South America, and Hawaii. I always volunteer to go to Hawaii, but they don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I got volcanoes going right now. I don't want to go. <laughs> and this is our enrobing room now. Oh, Denny, he put his mask on. Oh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I am um, anyway it's for his beard. He's got a little beard. Mm -hmm. So I tease him and I said, Where's your mask to that? <laughs> but you can see we're doing dark chocolate today. One day we do milk, one day we do dark, one day we do white. Hi. And chips? What we do here, we got our chips, wow. we use the Martin sea salt with a little bit of so chocolate can get down into there. And what Joe is doing there is he's making sure the chocolate is covered on the front and back and taking off excess chocolate, okay? Mm -hmm. And we have over here, he's dipping some, char <laughs> some uh. chocolate here for us. And we have a little faucet there that keeps spitting out chocolate. Yeah. What they can do there is that they can go ahead and take a mold, like, you know, for shells or something like that, and put it under there, or fill it to the right amount, put it on the vibrating table next to it. It shakes out the air bubbles and evens the chocolate in the mold. Okay. And I told you our boss likes the old machinery. This is a new one. It's a caramel cutter. Okay. <laughs> what they he used to take the boss about six hours to cut up all can you see? You want to come up here? Okay. <laughs> what they did is um, he used to have to score it. 
cut it in long strips and cut it in little squares. Mm -hmm. And it used to take almost six hours to do pans and pans of caramel. Now they can put the caramel on here, zip it through there. It takes about five seconds. Wow. Wow. Big difference, right? Big difference. <laughs> and we got some more of our uh, pecan brittle here. And we also have white chocolate eggs to go with white our White chocolate <laughs> My brother came down from Illinois at bike week and I said, here's your breakfast. He didn't think it was funny. <laughs> but it's <was> quite <laughs> <a chocolate. laughs> He ate it later, okay? <laughs> but we got all kinds of neat things that we do, which I think is pretty neat. They got the white chocolate eggs to go with it. But this is where they put the chocolate on everything and keep it going at all times. And each little chip now has to be done separate, okay? So, when, he go, when it goes through there, they have to do each little chip. He's taking each chip and making sure, you know, he's taking off excess and making sure there's chocolate. When they're doing the fillings, like your raspberry, your lemon, your key lime, it's very, very important that they mark the top for us, okay? They will take, like if it's orange cream, they will take white chocolate, put a little orange food coloring in it, and mark the top with a little stripe. If they don't do that, we don't know what's inside. Once it gets covered up in chocolate, we're, we're out of luck. I have to take a bite out of each piece and say, is that the one you want? That's a tough job, so I know. <laughs> but they mark the top for us, which is good. You know, They have to mark the top for us. Even if they do the pita, uh, pita butter and the caramel, because they're both square, so they have to mark the top. On the peanut butter, they'll take, you know how when you make a peanut butter cookie, you take a fork and sort of, they sort of put like three lines on top, and then the caramel will just have one little curl. Like that. But they always have to mark the top so we know what, what we're dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's pretty neat. But this is where everything is going to get covered up on chocolate. And we'll put you on there and we'll cover you up another one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> Anyway, what's going to happen now with the potato chips are, is going to go through this long cooling device. The cooling device starts out about 58 degrees, drops down to about 48. It does not freeze the chocolate, but it sets it, okay? And it takes about 10 minutes from that end to this end, but when it comes out, they can box it or bag it, whatever they have to. And this is really cool here. This is a 1940 machine, okay? What they do, it has a plate in here with 48 little holes. When they make the filling down there, they bring it up here, put it in here, close the lid, turn the crank, it pushes the lid down, pushes the filling down through the holes, out comes your little candy. Again, that's why it's important to mark the top because our candies, like the raspberry, <laughs> they're all the same size, okay? Mm -hmm. But 1940, we're still using it. All of the filling now going yeah. through this little machine. I think it's pretty cool. We have alligators, starfish, conch shells. We have all kinds of stuff. Look at our playing cards with the poker chip. Oh, that's cute. We have a gentleman that plays a lot of cards. He came in and he ordered about 200. And if you get dealt the wrong hand, you just eat it. Okay? No problem, no problem. So I think that's neat. Our boss has made full-size basketballs. He's made full-size football. And on the footballs, you know, he'll put the logo on it, like it's the Patriots or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's not just a shell either. They're about 45% solid. Mm -hmm. And he's made, during Thanksgiving, a couple of uh, years ago, he made two 17 and a half pound turkeys. Wow. Oh, wow. And he sold those at $300. <laughs> and he's got a Santa Claus about three feet that he sells for about $80. Wow. Do you want to order two? <laughs> and you can see we got some more goodies coming up here. Wow. And yeah, we got all kinds of goodies, don't we? She's the cutest lady. <laughs> anyway, we have little footprints and we do the toenails. How about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we got some little race cars. We got some Christmas trees, but they're not decorated yet, but they're both, right? We have two of my favorites. It's number one. Look at our height. Oh, look at how cute. I gave my daughter one, and she texted me and said she ate her shoes, so I hope she ate the right one. But that's okay. And look at our bridegroom pretzel sticks. This is all hand done, and we did about 300 for a wedding two weeks ago. And we got a little diamond ring. We also have a little sonogram here, and they have a 
white chocolate disc, and you can put on there if it's a boy, girl, or the baby's name if you want to. Nice. And you got a little bride and groom for on top of the wedding cake. I love the shoe, though. It's one of my yeah. favorites. <laughs> and we, back here is our shipping area. We are online, and we ship anywhere in the United States. And this is how they're doing the honeybees. He's doing this by hand. He's dropping the caramel. He's got pecans. Drop the caramel in there. Once that sets, they go ahead and break it up with some chocolate on it. Now, a lot of people call that a turtle, okay? We do not use the name turtle. It's supposed to be a franchise name. So they had a big buzz about it. It came up with honeybees. There's no honey or bees in it. It's just going to be your caramel and your nuts and your chocolate. So this is the best part. We're going to get some goodies. On our goodie trays, we have milk and dark potato chips. We have milk and dark caramels. We have milk and dark uh, honeybees. We have milk and dark pretzels. And who's going to be brave and try the bacon? Oh, <laughs> we, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Everybody gets two pieces, please. If we reach the machines, we'll hire you. Okay? <laughs> she wants to get hired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you can reach up there, we'll get you a job. We'll probably have you be the taster. How's that? You taste oh, everything. Right? Taste oh, is yeah. good. Taste <laughs> is good. Hang on right here. We're going to stay. Okay. Do you know what kind you're going to get? Mm. Bacon. <laughs> Bacon. Oh, wow. 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 All right. We'll just start and go right down the line here. How about you, sweetheart? This is our chips and our honeybees, our pretzels, caramels, and bacon. Caramel. Caramel. Okay. Caramel, milk, or dark? Milk. Okay. Do you want to try a chip or anything? Or? Uh, no. Thank you. Another one? Another caramel? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How about Thank you, sir? you. Both. Okay. Yeah. You don't want a bacon? Yeah. Uh, I, I love, love bacon. Oh, oh, man, chips. You want yes. a chip? Yeah. Okay, and a caramel, or do you want to try the bacon? Are you brave? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, bacon. Um, uh, let's see. All right. If you don't care, we'll, we'll give you a we'll give you a caramel. Okay, thank you. What do you want, sweetheart? Mm. Just make it.